everybody, welcome back to the episode of the last day on Earth Survival. Today we return, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys are having an absolutely favorite fantastic day of the most amazing variety. Me, myself, I am doing relatively okay. We do have one small issue though, and that is we were not raided. We are still at the level four threat level of attack, and that means no revenge raid today. Luckily though, you guys remember that last raid we had? The nutty one with redonkulous amounts of steel and all that type of jazz. Uh, for some reason, the Raiders are happy with two, two aluminum bars. I'm not complaining. We're just going to go ahead and give that to them. And we are actually going to, of course, we're doing a raid today, mate, as is tradition. We already got the materials. We got the silenced weapons, and we can craft up some more hatchets. But first things first, before we do hop into that puppy, there's one other thing that I want to talk about. Actually, a couple of things, and that comes in the form of some dev information coming our way. This is actually from the Discord. If you guys don't know the official uh, Discord for last day on earth and the cloud over here which you guys are going to be seeing in some of these screenshots is one of the developers for the game he's part of the last day on earth team and here we have some screenshots scattered about just throughout the discord server of him answering some questions and handing out info pretty much that i definitely wanted to deliver to you guys so without further ado right here you guys are seeing the first one cloud can you change the icon for level one walls to be a hatchet and a single apostrophe sign and for level two walls a hatchet with a double apostrophe or something so we can actually see if we're going to cut a level one wall or level two long story short he's just asking for a system that will actually allow us to be able to very quickly tell the difference between a level one wall and a level two in case it's like a hidden layer it's something we i talk about this a lot actually when we do do rating and cloud here does say okay so that's actually awesome news that is something that they are going to be working on and trying to hop in hopefully relatively soon in the game because i don't think it's going to be a massive undertaking it's not like they're adding in a new area they're literally just adding in like a small little thing that says hey it's a level one wall hey it's level two you know nothing nothing too crazy there also sorry if i do need to be a little bit on the quiet side like i said it is finals week for like the next week here after that though i can go back to being home back home from college and being my favorite fantastic self without having to keep it hush a little bit so uh, cut me a little bit of slack here boys and girls if you are a bit more quiet than usual but still you know i got all that hype but uh, next up right here what you guys are seeing is uh cloud actually talking about the flamethrower and he said the truth about the flamethrower is that it burns not only zombies but old phones and tablets this might just seem like a meme might just seem like he's trying to poke some fun and have like a funny little yokel funny little joke but it actually means probably the flamethrower as is currently is unoptimized i'm guessing what it means is that the flame throwing effect like the constant stream of fire what it does is it's like they can't optimize or at least they haven't optimized it properly yet for old phones and tablets and a lot of people not like not everyone necessarily is playing last day on earth like an iphone x you know or like the newest samsung galaxy right and this so, like they try to make it last day on earth relatively as optimized as can be and currently in the state that it is it looks like the biggest problem with incorporating the flamethrower is probably just optimizing it properly but that is a good sign that it, the, the fact that they know that it isn't like it, it's it's in game because they know that like yo this isn't working out for old phones and tablets at the moment or like they've they have it in game at least in the developer version and they're probably just trying to optimize it more so that's a good sign and hopefully they can knock out that optimization relatively soon and we can have the flamethrower in our hands because that seems like a super hype weapon but next up right here what you guys are seeing is craft and gabriel this is in regards to skills he's replying to this guy saying we will add reputation items to boost this we really didn't expect you guys to get 20 levels in the first two days and this is cloud talking about skills so it does appear that rel i'm guessing relatively soon since the skill system was added and it, whenever they add in something new usually they try to improve it as quickly as possible kind of like 1.7 rating came out they were improving that over the next couple updates 1.8 multiplayer come came out and by the looks of it 1.8.3 is going to be the multiplayer update adding in guns for multiplayer in the form of the railgun we talked about that in an episode or two ago so it wouldn't surprise me if in that update or potentially the one after just somewhere in the near future they do add in this reputation stuff so they probably realize that like yo it is starting to take a little little while here 
to get these skills popping. Like, we'll add in some items that we can utilize to actually boost the experience that we get, which is going to be a very, very welcome addition. Speaking of skills, we do have some skills that we are going to be rolling for in the game here in just a bit. So I'll start crossing your fingers now nice and early, boys and girls. But then we have uh, tentacles over here saying, Cloud, can you give us a hint to stock up for on a future update? And Cloud has said guns, potentially hinting towards a weapon slash gun overhaul to the gun system? I don't know. It's a, it's, it's something, it's a random thing to stockpile because I'm, most of us are probably stockpiling guns anyway, but lad, that's actually very interesting. I'd love to hear what you guys got to say about this in the comment section, your own thoughts. This is very vague, really open to interpretation, but maybe it's hinting towards like an overhaul to guns. Maybe they'll be more rare. Maybe they'll work in different, like I, I, it's very vague, like I said, but it, I would love to hear what you guys got to say regarding that. And finally, over here in regards, or in reply to Omar the King over on Discord, infected meat was meant to be used for camouflage from zombies. If you guys don't know about infected meat, that was actually leaked. It is currently in the game files. It does have an icon uh, in game for like, whatchamacall, uh, how it would appear over here in one of these things, right? It does have an icon for that, and it does have a UI icon hinting towards the fact that I think it'll be a temporary buff that we can utilize when we do use the infected meat that we're probably gonna be getting from the infected wolf, which was added into the game a couple updates ago. If you guys don't know what I mean when I say UI, there's like a little icon in the game files, kind of like this, kind of like, uh, kind of like this, kind of like this, kind of like a couple of these different things, right? That corresponds not to something in game, but corresponds to something in like the UI, the overlay kind of stuff like that. And given the fact that that's kind of like, you guys can see the temporary boost right there, how that works, it wouldn't surprise me in the least if that is going to be a temporary boost that we get from consuming the infected meat, which is going to be a really cool use for trying to hunt and find that infected wolf find him and collect that meat and this is actually something if you guys have been keeping up with the grim soul survival videos the latest one actually if not i recommend y'all check it out it's like last day on earth in medieval times with a huge focus on melee weapons and actually a lot of dope variety in the melee weapons but i'm not gonna be plugging that too much but long story short we're seeing something that we've seen kind of before with jurassic survival as well and what that before is is that there are things that we see in jurassic survival slash grim soul that then eventually make their way over it's the last day on earth and grim soul in this latest update got the stealth potion which allows you to be extra sneaky and extra unnoticed when wandering by enemies and i think that that might be it, it makes a ton of sense here for that to be incorporated into the game so i think that infected meat is pretty much confirmed to be utilized for kind of being kind of like the stealth potion of last day on earth but with that said with that done that's gonna go and wrap it up for the information we got flowing out of kafir before today can't wait to hear you guys gotta say about it we'll love to hear your guys' thoughts, original thoughts, your guys' thoughts on my thoughts, any of that type of jazz in that comment section down below, and remind the comments, which will throw the way into the tutorial, iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway, all you gotta do as well is make sure the like button, make sure you subscribe, and that answer you win on today's video, I'm going to enter on every single last day on Earth video, when Saturday rolls around, aka tomorrow, we'll go and pick a random video from the past week, pick a random comment from that random video, and Zatsa will be the winner for that week, and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway on Saturday as well, so make sure that notification bell hits so you don't miss any of those videos, any possibilities for you guys to enter into, and of course, only the latest and greatest of informations, latest and greatest showing off of the updates and all that type of jazz to bless your beautiful little faces with. I know, fan freaking fantastic, but I'd love to hear, and today is the last day to enter in, so get those entries in on old videos, on this video, and uh, definitely tune in to tomorrow, but with that, that's enough talking about the info, a lot of cool stuff coming from there, kind of scattered throughout the Discord, and definitely could be, oh, oh, oh freaking, oh, some nuts stuck in my throat, I was chewing on some, ca chewing on some almonds earlier, oh man, my throat is dry to say at least. Hopefully they come for that, man. Uh, really quick though, what we want to do is heal up on hydration, heal up on the hungers, bless your faces with the bunker code. This is the bunker code for an I'm playing. If it is out of date, hopefully someone in that comment section has provided an updated code because uh, we fan freaking fantastic like that, baby. You already know 
definitely someone's over there doing some things like that. But uh, what you call what we want to do really quickly, chow down a little bit of food, get ourselves a little bit of the agua, craft up a ton of these level one hatches that we can then utilize on this raid. We are about to go upon. We have stockpiled on some coins because I like I saw that what you call that we didn't have the revenge raid available, so I'm like. Eh, Maybe, maybe want to go and cop a little bit of those. And, of course, we do have our daily explorer packs that bring nothing but the greatest of pain to our walls. <laughs> Please finally be worth it. Can we finally get something good from these packs? Not these packs, but from the skill rolls that we ultimately end up doing. If we... Ooh! Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I like that. That means we're definitely, in addition to the raid we're doing, which give us some skill points in the raid... Uh, there's, there's a chance we might have a level up in the raid, maybe even two levels up, so we're lucky, uh, in the raiding. But let's hope that some of these perks, mainly the mountain region, because that's where we can get the extra pocket perk, and that is what I desperately, desperately want, because that thing could be a game changer, baby. And I want my game to be changed, god dang it. I want it to be changed. We got three more to go. At least we got, like, one very rare. I guess that's okay. Like, if we at least get one, it's like, eh. I'll take it, you know, if we get zero, it's like, yeah, it's poopy. If we open like five in a row and we get zero, like five, five packs of ten, and we get zero, and it's like, okay, come on, game, come on. That was pretty much us for the past week, but it looks like our fortunes are turning around a little bit. Let's go ahead and get to the cop in of these puppies. Never mind, we'll cop that one in a sec. First things first, let's read the Raider's Diary. Ooh, not quite high enough level yet, but during today's raid, easy peasy we will be reaching that we can go ahead and get the mountain i don't think we leveled that one up we did level up the oak forest and we will get a pine forest level up that means we got two skills no whammy no whammy no whammy baby let's hope that maybe we ain't getting that we just we just becoming better oak loggers god dang it man ah uh, it's okay whatever is a skill's a skill a skill's a skill uh knowing my luck here the dog breeding will continue. I know some people are saying, like, Star, the dog breed breeder perk is dope. I'm not saying it's not Oh, my God, man. <laughs> I'm not saying it's not dope. I'm saying for me, like, I've pretty, like, I'm just saying personally, in my situation, this is, like, the least useful perk for us. Although, like, we might end up doing some more dog breeding. I would just, like, much rather, you know, just get, like, at least, the, like, a sprint. Come on, game. I've yet to get one skill from all the skill openings we've been doing which is a little bit i don't know man it's whack bro it's whack but all right let's go and get this agua up in our system toss some of those puppies <coughs> over in there that one not one in tarnation there you go start filling on up there but uh, then we can put our uh wood and that's away and with a extremely full inventory this actually i don't know this might be like too many hatches to bring uh, I mean, worst case, we just ditched the level one hatches. They're not that expensive. All right. All in all, I'd say we are nice, ready, and preparado to go. Nothing over in here. I was also seeing something really awesome. Another thing I'd love to hear your guys' input on. But you guys know how you can get generators from raids. And currently, generators can't do anything, right? But uh, there is... Oh, oh, hold on. We got. We actually got to get the raid in the first place. But the generators, you guys can get them from raids. And... Uh, what I was thinking, you guys know how the car engine, I actually saw this idea, I think in the comments, so shouts out to some of you guys, man, that's why I love reading the comments, there's some fan freaking fantastic stuff in there, making me proud, baby, but, uh, whatchamacall, anything good in there, no, didn't think so, uh, we're looking, oh, never mind, no, no, this is where the good stuff is, this is where we want to call in the Raiders, yeah, ha, ha. come hither, my Raider brethren. Come hither, but uh, these generators, as you guys know, there's a new car engine that you can get in the like a rusty car engine over in the red zones. What I was thinking, and what I really love from what you guys were saying in the comment section, some of y'all, is the ability to actually put one of these into the recycler and recycle it into some of its base parts. If you guys don't know, here is the quickity split crafting recipe for this puppy just to get it initially started. There's aluminum and wrenches involved. Like, definitely some aluminum could be in the scrapped recipe, right? But then to finish crafting it, it even requires engine components. So, like, the ability to get some engine parts back from the electric generator? I'm just saying, man, this thing could really, really be nice. But 
I don't know. I, I, I feel like that'd just be a really cool feature, but uh, the Raiders have arrived. Hopefully they give us a good quest. Uh, um, I'll be, I'll just, just take, take my gold. Take my gold, Raiders. Today ain't no revenge raid for me to go on. I need a raid to go on because we got to keep it going. We're at 162 rep, by the way. We're really starting to climb that rep ladder, which is pretty freaking cool. And also, I'm really starting to climb the heat ladder because, dude, my window is freaking i don't have any covers for it and the sun is just beaming down on me and oh my god it is hot in here jesus just a week ago i was freezing my buns off next thing you know here we are you know where i want to be i want to be there i want to i want that perk in my inventory can we can we organize this game the trader significant discounts from the dealer when gathering knowledge at other players bases wait what Oh, oh, that's just uh, where we get the perks. So we get it from the raids, What you call still dude, that'd be so cool. Cause the dealer does have some really expensive deals specifically for dogs, like normal deals. Like I could just, I'm just saying things can get really, really cheap with that perk. So hopefully we can work our way towards that. I think that'd be pretty cool. But uh, all in all, we will have to see, got to play things by ear and uh, just kind of hope for the best. Cross them fingers. It's in the crisscross applesauce position. Also, let's hope for the best on this raid right here. If this raid could go smoothly, that'd be great. Uh, oh wow. Oh what? There's, bro. Okay, okay. I was, I was about to say. Like, I, I just saw this. I'm like, you're not gonna do this to me, are you, game? <laughs> like, I don't think I can raid anything from here. <laughs> what do we have here? Freaking deer running off. It's just me. Or does this base feel really big? Maybe it's just because it's really empty. And it's, there's nothing in the center. This guy really, like, did an interesting base design. It's just very long. Also, freaking level one. Couple of level one entries. Ooh. 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 You know what, mate? You know what, laddie? Oh, this is actually beautiful. If I'm not mistaken, if this hasn't been patched. Guys, we just found an entryway into bay. Okay, no, that just sounds weird when you say it like that. But this is bay. This is bay right here, okay? That right there, only we can get through this. Zombies, I don't think, are capable of getting through that unless they patched it. We haven't had an opportunity like this in a while. So TBH, this could actually be really freaking hype. I mean, it's not like we're really going to be in here that long anyways. It's not like there's a crazy amount of chests. I'm guessing that this chest is going to be good. So, I mean, this, this base is kind of looking... uh kind of looking a little bit lame but we'll we'll see if maybe i don't know maybe it'll be redeemed and we've had raids like this before where it just looks like a dud but then once you actually you know enter into some of the chests the duddiness kind of isn't as dudful you know i'm just making up words at this point man i'll take some of that meat you know especially if this is a dud of a base like gotta gotta prioritize especially because we had got we gotta end up bribing those stupid raiders to be like yo thanks thanks for the raid bud and, uh, well, are they gonna believe me if I just found, like, seven carrot seeds? They're probably like, nah, dude, we, we gave, we gave the poopy base. Oh, oh, oui, oui, sacre bleu. Oh, I like, I like that. Thank you for the five steel bars and the ten oak of planks. That's a solid hop. Ten out of ten. I'm telling you guys. And this is exactly the type, this is, this is what it's, what's amazing, though. Even you guys can get raids like this, and they're easy to break into. You don't even, like... It took us, honestly, this entire raid we could have done with only level one hatchets. That is amazing. Like, honestly, if you just have a stack of wood, stack of stone, go on a raid. Like, the hard part is, of course, getting the quest done to go on a raid, but raids really, really can be game changers. That is the perfect, dude. Today's a perfect day. That's like the perfect amount of freaking medical supplies, man. Hot diggity dang. I'm going ham, ham, eggs, and cheese omelet on these boys. Uh, can we get anything from here, maybe? No. I mean, we're probably gonna end up breaking into all of these chests, to be fair. But, at the end of it, like I said, we're gonna have to see. He's got, eesh, eesh. I think, we, I mean, we already got the very best stuff, so. Eh, I don't know. Oh, isn't that first wave of the Zambi supposed to be coming my way? Or, you know why they haven't come our way? Because, uh, they physically are not... Zambies? Hello? Okay, there, there they are. Okay, I was about to say, like, yo, Zambies? Okay, ooh, check that out. They are flat out bamboozled. They have no clue what's going on. <laughs> RIP to the floaters, my dude. Okay, no, 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 no. Chill, chill, chill. Chill, sit back. Sit back a little bit there, big boy. Uh, we got the floater bloater coming this way. Oh, 
Oh, I thought it was about to get through. I'm like, what in tarnation? Nah, he's, he's nice and little. He's, he's stuck. He's a stucksy doodle boy. And will that be enough for the level up in the raid department? No whammy, no whammy. Can we finally get a no whammy that pays off? Probably not. Nah, nah, we're just getting a uh, camouflage baster. I don't want this perk. I want people raiding my base. I want revenge raids. Can I turn off this perk, please? Is that an option? Where's the, where's the switch, bro? Where's the, where's the electrical switch? Except for perks. I don't know. We got to keep that chest intact, actually. Because uh, if we break that, well, they're just going to come through. <laughs> and that's not good. Why don't we start trying to break into this room? This is kind of like a separate room. So maybe, shmebe, shmebe, it'll have some meh, meh stuff. Not going to lie. Oh, I got a little bit of burp. I got to get out the way, too. Apologies about that. Yeah, I don't, this is a... Uh, Oh my god, man's got an ATV. Nah, nah. I mean, I, I don't I don't mind raiding an ATV. Like I I I no, wait it, We don't really need to build a second ATV. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a hard pass on me, dog. <laughs> um let's break through the rest of these two chests. The wave is gonna come after this one's broken though. So we're gonna wanna kinda go by the doorway so we could kite them in here. Yeah, this is really yikes, boy. Yikes. Not as good as I expected, but maybe we'll get another perk level. Come on, come at me, bro. Come at me. There they are. That's what I like. Oh, back it up, back it up. Now we can take the, we get like, just no stress, no armor being taken out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. No, uh, whatchamacall. No med kits being used up. Why is this guy wandering towards me? Get out of here, you freaking floater bloater. Thinking you could fit through there. You can't fit. You, you, sorry, man. Sorry to break it to you. You ain't fitting through that. None of you are. Up to 32% though. Uh, there's a chance, man. Because we got three toxic abominations in the next wave. Those things give a lot of XP. And then what do we have? I want to say the two toxic abominations with the big one. When he comes, we could definitely finesse our way. Especially since we have all the medkits in the world still. Oh, this sucks, man. He was starting to build like stone floors and stuff. He was really going to start armoring up his base a little bit. Uh, ooh, a little bit of aluminum. Yeah, unfortunately for him, he did just come a wee bit too early there. Uh, honestly, since this is kind of... Oh, okay, hold on. We can stack some planks. Um, what I was going to say, though... Mm, and, yeah, we grabbed the red ticket. I'm not... Listen, if there's nothing better, I'll grab a red ticket, right? I'm not grabbing much else. Um, hopefully as a stack of wood. Honestly, I could use some wood at home. If there's nothing better to raid. Like, I'll take some wood. Like... Come on. Like, you judging me, bro? Just, I'm um, gonna take some wood? Chill, man. Chill, chill, fam. Uh, we might also be able to break into every one of his chests. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. we got some of that wood I was talking about. And some more aluminum. Ooh, I almost totally missed those plates, too. Okay, I think it's about time for us. First things first, let's, let, let's use the rest of this hatchet real quick. And then that'll summon up the rest of this wave. Look at that. It's just a random deer chilling in this man's base. <laughs> uh, I'm not really too interested in that wristwatch. I do hear people coming, though. Um, mm, 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 mm. Eh, honestly. Uh, mm, mm. Hold on. Which chest did we just break into? It had something useful. Yeah, the plates. Eh, it's three first aid kits. Like, I'll, I'll take the 20 stack over there. Maybe I'll come back for them in a sec. But all right, here's what we got to do right now. We got to take out all of these dudes They're trying to run up on us. Oh, run up, you know, man. There you go. All right. Toxic abomination number one down. He will be giving us about 9%. So, like, if we take every... This, 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 we're going to be cutting it close for level up. Definitely cutting it close. Because the fast biters... Uh, I mean, they give us like 2% of pop. That's the thing, dude. Raiding, when we get that bonus too. Those, uh, whatchamacallit, those new rep items or whatever they were talking about. That is going to be really nice. Okay, boys, back it up. Back it up there, big boys. Come on. Come on. Chill. Chill a little bit. 65%. Less late for ooh, the fast spiders to get over here. Isn't there another toxic abomination? Or shouldn't there be? Did we? I thought... Mate? Did we kill all three? Oh, I guess we did. For some reason, I thought we only killed two. Hmm. Weird. My brain. Dude, all these midterms. Uh, not midterms. Finals, man. It's crazy. I actually had my first final this morning. It went, uh, well, hopefully okay. <laughs> let's, just, let's just not talk about finals if we don't have to. How about that? I think that's a good solution. Let's roll with that solution. Um, yeah, so honestly, 
The problem... Ooh, here is the chicken little ting. The big one... Oh, that's the thing. We can teleport the big one into here and then kill the toxic abominations in a low-stress environment. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, first things first. Let's actually put some stuff away into our motorcycle so we can cap off this raid pretty smoothly. Where'd I bring it? Over here in, like, this giant parking lot of nothing. Dude, seriously, this... That, 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 that's that, like, little 4x4 four four psyched me out so hard. Bless up that nothing came out of that. Or that something did come out of it. And that wasn't his entire base. Just like a 4x4 four four wood planks. That would have been heartbreaking. Uh, definitely putting the steel away. Honestly, aluminum stuff's pretty valuable. And... I guess the red ticket, dude. A red ticket's a red ticket. I'm not gonna complain. I want you to take out those two toxic abominations that show up, though. We should be at around 89, 90%. Maybe we get a little bit more from breaking into stuff, but I don't think that there is another level in our future. Also, on the liquidity split here, uh, we are two gas bottles, or two water bottles full of gas short of a full stack. So let's just stack that puppy up. Then we can put this one back. And uh, let's just really hope that these two... Uh, these two, or at least one of these two chests has something good. I, it's, well, we gotta see, man. We gotta see. We gotta get them out of inventory room here. Prepared to grab it. Mm, I'll just kind of organize this really quickly. Okay, so we got five slots. Uh, That one's gonna break. That one's up next. We still got, honestly, a lot after that. Shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too shabby. I'll actually reorganize that one really quick. So we start using that. And uh, let's soften this one up. Juan... And two. Oh, there goes the weapon. All right, broke. Just on a cue. A one. A two. And this is the first one we're going to break into. Boys and girls, it's about to get uh, hectic. Uh, all right, what we got? 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 Uh, 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 nothing too amazing. I just, I'm scared for the big one to teleport to me. That is the last thing that I want. Oh, no, 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 no. Last thing I want is actually to die now that I think about it. I'm, I'm going to rethink my choice. Please, Toxic Abomination, die. Die. Oh, let's see. What? Okay, Toxic Abomination number two. Oh. They're down! I'm dick ski doodling! That guy's doing a lot of damage. Get the hell out of your big one. I am not dealing with your shenanigans today. We are up to 89% on the level up curve. Awesome, awesome news. Not awesome news. It's still very hot in here. And I don't think the stress of raids is helping, man. I'm gonna let it be known. I'm sweating. Oh boy, I'm sweating, sniper gang. My sniper gang. I seriously, I always forget to, I gotta, I gotta keep calling us that more often, man. I love that name. I saw some of you guys suggest it a couple episodes ago, maybe like a week ago or so at this point. And honestly, I think that's the perfect group representation of us, man. Snipe gang. And it's catchy. Kind of, kind of flows off the tongue pretty well. I like it. I do. But uh, my snipe gang, that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Can't wait to hear what you guys got to say about that Discord dev info. It wasn't any huge info coming out, but it was a variety of kind of like smaller little chunks, little tidbits here and there, and honestly, some really, really cool stuff in the form of those. So can't wait to hear what you guys got to say in the comments section down below. Best of luck in the giveaway. Winners be announced in tomorrow's episode. Make sure to stay tuned for that. But uh, uh, that's gonna start wrapping it up for now. Best of luck to you guys getting the chopper gas tank, joining the chopper squadron. Best of luck on your own raids, revenge, or the ones you set out on upon yourselves. Best of luck breeding your puppas, getting your skills, getting past the multiplayer wall, and most important of all, best of luck and have an absolutely fan for a fantastic time along the way. But that's gonna go and do it for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one, and I'll talk to you next one. See ya.